An ovule has got protective coverings. These protective coverings, these protective coverings are not completely enclosing. There are some gaps there. Only one uh, one area is there, which is called as micropyle. In the micropyle end, micropyle is a point on the ovule which is not covered by these coverings and these coverings now I have drawn two coverings protective coverings these coverings are called integuments the whole ovule is connected to the wall of the ovary by a stalk this stalk is called funicle and the point of attachment of the funicle with the ovule this point is called hilum okay so ovule ovule this is a structure of a typical anatropous ovule and the ovule is attached with the tissues of the ovary ovule is attached with the tissues of the ovary the tissue of the ovary on which the ovule is attached is called placenta hmm? the ovule is attached with the tissue of the ovary by means of a stalk that stalk is called funicle the point of attachment of funicle with the ovule is called hilum now the cells inside the ovule there are cells inside this ovule these spaces there are cells the cells inside the ovule is called as new cells new cells new cells is supplied with nutrients and it is filled with food material for the growing embryo sac so ovule consists of embryo sac inside integuments covering it excepting a point called micropyle a stalk called funicle attached with the placenta of the ovary the spot where the funicle attaches with the ovule which is called hilum now this the end where the micropyle is there it's called micropyle micropylar end or micropyle pole micropyle pole the opposite side of micropyle telazel end so there you, you can see a micropyle pole and then you can see the opposite pole which is called as telazel end or telazel pole just like we say north pole south pole like that so the same picture you will get it in the textbook so this is the picture which you have to study you can see hilum the point of attachment of funicle with the ovule you can see the micropyle micropylar pole outer integument inner integument the embryo sac inside the ovule this is the ovule this is embryo sac the tissue within the ovule which is called as new cells new cells has food material to provide for the growing embryo sac because later it is in the embryo sac we will get egg and other cells and the opposite end to the micropyle is called telazel pole